Hey everyone, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant, and you're watching The Other Side of the Dash. Hey folks, I'm Yolanda Johnson Bryant. Welcome back to The Other Side of the Dash. If you're new here, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and share this video with your friends. So, in the last video, I told you guys I was going to attempt to do a wig review. Um, it's not going to be like your other wig reviews because I don't have all the, the tools necessary. Plus, this is fairly new to me. I've done a wig re review before one. And as I said in my last video, I should have been doing them forever because I've been wearing wigs forever uh, because of medical reasons. So, um... I'll be wearing wigs probably for the rest of my life. Um, some damage was done, so I wear wigs, wigs and I'm, I'm okay with that um, because I'm alive and I'm still here. Through all my medical conditions and so on, I'm still alive and I'm still here. So, with that being said, I can uh, experiment and have fun with wearing different kinds of wigs. I can change the color, the length, the texture, whatever. So, it is what it is. Um, so, I told you guys... I have this wig and I, I, I got rid of the, um, the, the label for the wig so you guys can see the actual uh, packaging that it comes in. But I'll put a picture of it because I do scan everything. And I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see the make, the model of the wig. It is a, this particular wig that I'm getting ready to uh, put on and show you guys and review is a Bobby Boss wig. And it is Angie and it's going to be this. Now, you guys are looking like, Yolanda, that is burgundy. Now, I want to tell you, this is the same wig as the one that I have on. And I love the color, but I want it to go a little bit lighter for the uh, spring and summer. Uh, but they didn't have the color that I wanted. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do something totally different. Now, normally I refer to this color as Kool-Aid color hair because I just never liked it before. But now, when I ordered this, the color on the uh, website is is a little bit different than this. So it's not true to color. Although this one was true to color. Uh, and I still might wear this through the summer. I might just uh, spray some, uh, some gold streaks in it and just go about my business. But I wanted to try this one and see if I could get away with it. So let's go ahead and get started. Now like I said, this is not going to be your typical uh, wig review uh, because I don't have all the... Um, Materials is going to be shorter, but I promise to get better in the future uh, But some of the things that I'm going to be using today with this is going to be your uh, Mousse we need mousse And what's a wig a wig review without got to be products now? Am I going to do a full wig install because I just don't like doing those because I have a dry itchy scalp scalp and I'll be scratching it I just can't do it um, got to be a gel. I'm not sure if I'll use this or just use the hairspray, but we'll see. Of course, you got your wig spray. You got to make sure it's lustrous and beautiful. And then, of course, I got my old sheen right here. So, um, and I'll link all this stuff in the description box below. So, here is Bobby Boss's Angie. Again, it's the same wig, but it's in color burgundy. Actually, it's in color bug. It's called bug, not burgundy. It's called bug. Now, I got this off of Amazon. Now, I usually get most of my wigs from samsbeauty.com. But lately, I found these wigs, I've been finding the wigs on Amazon for a little bit cheaper. And of course, if you have Amazon Prime, you don't have to pay for shipping and handling. So I get my wig much faster and don't have to pay for shipping and handling. So I went ahead and went on Amazon and I got both of these. So um, here's the color bug. So if you guys can see that. Now this is something new for me, so I'm going to try something different. So one project that I omitted was this Cover Your Gray, um, and I just got this from the local beauty uh, store, but you probably can get it from Amazon, Walgreens, you know, anywhere. Let's see if it'll go into focus here. I'm sorry guys. It's Cover Your Gray anyway. Um, it's like a, a, a mascara for your, for, to cover up your grays and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to be using this. To make it look a little more realistic so here here we go okay first I wanted to show you what this wig looks like on the um, some features so this is the lace 
as you can see there and I'm sorry for this uh, recording environment but uh, we're in a temporary location and uh, I don't have many choices so uh, so there's you have your lace it goes from ear to ear the lace goes from ear to ear and then inside is a deep part side part it goes all the way to the back and there's the cap and it's got I don't use the combs because they pull um, they pull my scalp they pull my hair from my scalp it's like it's pulling my edges so I don't use your combs and normally what I do is take the combs out except for the back comb I like the back comb to clip so it doesn't ride up on my back my nape of my neck um, so I usually take the side this has two actually two so, uh, side here I usually take those out it lets the wig sit flatter on your head but I'll do that at a later date but I just wanted to show you what the inside construction of the wig look like so here we go so I have a little um, band that goes around your head to make your wigs a little bit tighter and what I did was you guys didn't see that part I actually put some uh, foundation on it so it can match the color of my skin. So I'm, right now I'm just trying to adjust that. A lot of people will put the makeup directly on the wig and I've done that several times and I'll probably do it with this but just for the sake of this video and the review of this wig I will um, not be going through all that kind of stuff. So so I have the wig on my head. So what do you guys think so far? I'm, I'm far from finished but what do you guys think about it so far? Kind of matches what I have on right? We're not done. Now, normally what I would do is pluck some of these hairs out and I'll probably eventually pluck some out, but I'm not gonna do that for this video, but I am going to uh, cut the lace off and kind of blend it in. So let me go ahead and start cutting the lace. And I should have brought me some clips, but hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna put this behind my hair, my ear, and we're gonna cut this lace. A lot of people doing their, their uh, tutorials will cut the lace while it's on. I don't like to cut it while it's on my hair because I don't want to cut my real hair. But I'm going to go ahead for the sake of this video and I'm going to cut it. I'm just not going to cut it that close. I usually take it off and just cut the lace off. But, you know, whatever works for you. And I usually cut the lace all the way around the ear because I usually let my baby hair stick out and my edges and I don't want that that lace tab sitting there looking horrible Let's see I only got a little bit of it it's sticking up so I'll cut that part off and I got a little bit of the hair as you can see but that's okay I'm gonna be shortening the edges anyway so okay then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna cut this part off. Make sure I don't, I'm gonna lift it so I don't get my, um, so I don't get my um, real hair. Cause I did slick my back, hair back, but you know, you still got your edges that are there. You don't wanna cut off your own edges. And don't worry about cutting this in a straight line. It's good that you don't anyway, because whose hairline is just straight across? You know, you got some jig, jigs and jags here and there, so you really don't want it cut straight, you know. So, got that cut. Probably not as much as I want to, but I'm just gonna leave that there because this is not gonna show right now. I'll probably go back and do some cleaning later, but, um, what I want to pay attention to right now is this side right here. And what I'm going to do right off hand is I'm going to go ahead and take the sharp edge of this comb and I'm going to just go down and to the very edge so I can cut out some baby hair to make it look a little bit more natural. And you can use a razor blade or some scissors sharp scissors I use both right now I'm going to use scissors and I'm just going to go down the edge I'm going to pull this Ooh. 
pull this and just kind of you want to make it short up here and just go longer down just kind of you don't want to cut a straight line you just kind of want to scrape it a little bit and just kind of shape it a little bit just like that so <clears throat> and then in a minute I'm going to get some some gel now I'm not good at people do the baby hair and that I'm not a big fan of the baby hair as far as doing that you know but I do like to let a little hang out so it looks natural so I'm gonna put that there for now and then we're gonna start working on this part now you can see the part there you guys see that it doesn't look natural at all, does it? So what I normally would do is pluck some of that, and I'll do it later. I'm not going to do it this video, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, Cover Your Gray stick, and I'm going to just go at the roots and come out a little bit, just so it looks like a little more natural. So you got to be very careful and patient with this. And, oh, sorry about that. And you can actually use actual mascara. Just buy a cheap thing of mascara and do this just kind of blend it in you will be washing your hands afterwards just be careful how far down you go and you want to put it all the places that it's going to look natural or that's going to be exposed I'm sorry so normally I would go all up and through here well again for the sake of this video we're not we cannot we're not getting too in depth my future videos will be more in debt. It's just, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things and just kind of, especially around the part area. Now, don't get the uh, cover your gray right in the mat, in the uh, in the uh, the part area on the lace because it's once it's hard to come off the lace and it's not going to look natural at all. So just get it right at the tip if you can and come out. And just kind of take your finger and rub it out a little bit so it can get on the other hairs and not get on your lace. <clears throat> now this is Swiss lace and I prefer, now there are other, uh, let me go back a little bit. I prefer synthetic wigs for a number of reasons. Yes, human hair wigs cost a, a lot more than synthetic ones. But I feel like in my experience, I have been able to, sorry about that, I need to get a paper towel. I find it easier to finagle um, synthetic wigs. The hair stays, uh, the, if I curl it, the style stays longer than the uh, human hair because as soon as the humidity hits the human hair, if you got curls, you, you know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to run a little bit down the edge here just so it kind of blends in with my real hair. Now as I'm doing this wig, there is a little shedding. Um, I've had wigs that don't shed at all and some that shed so bad that it was ridiculous. Uh, we were recently in Texas and I wore a wig. It was very pretty. It was by the Naturally Me. I think it's Vanessa Naturally Me. Um, I don't know the, the particular one offhand, but I did an actual install. And an install basically means you, you installed it to your head. You glued it down to your head. So you don't have to take it off every day and, you know, it's like your natural hair. But I had to uh, get some alcohol and take that puppy off my hair because it shed so bad it was ridiculous. Um, so, and then I ended up having to go to a shop while I was in Texas and buy another wig. And I forget which one I bought. I think I bought a curly one. I think you guys can tell the curly wigs are my favorite. I like the curly hair. So I've kind of gotten this a little bit. You may want to do up here a little bit too. You know, the wind blows. And, you know, that's not going to look too realistic. Let's 
just put a little bit there. And I'll go back and do, do some more. Depending on if I like this wig or not, put it that way. I don't know how I'm going to do with this color. What are you guys thinking so far? So I think that's all I'm going to do really right now on the, um, the cover your gray. I see some more lace that I probably want to cut off. So I'm going to pull it close so I don't cut my hair and cut some more of that lace off. Okay, that's a little bit better. So there's my hairline. Or that's where I'm putting this in on my hairline, put it that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, some got to be glued hairspray and I'm going to spray it up in the hairline and around the edge right here because this is going to because you guys see how it sticks up a little bit this will help it you know go down to the I have a cap on so it's going to um stick to the cap so it's not sticking up so much and then I'm going to take a brush one of these little brushes here and I'm just going to kind of Brush it out a little bit. Now be careful because you got that, uh, that, uh, cover your gray on there and it's black. If you've done your makeup and stuff, it's going to mess it up. But, um, now I cut this side over here. I need to cut the other side. Or actually, I need to cut the, the top. I'm not going to cut the other side just yet for the sake of this video. But I'm going to cut some up here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You guys can see that there. And normally with this kind of thin thinness, I would use a razor blade, but I didn't bring it in here with me. So I'm in my granddaughter's bathroom because she has the biggest bathroom. Go figure. So I'm going to cut that off a little bit. Just kind of trim that. Just to make it look a little realistic. And I would tweeze it a little bit too to make it look thin. Okay. So. Cut that a little bit more. Okay. And then kind of just get the excess off. Like I said, it does shed a little bit, but not a whole lot compared to other wigs that I've used so you want to just make sure whatever you just cut out you kind of just pull it out so I'm going back to the um, now I brought the uh, the uh, mousse but I don't think I'm going to use the mousse the mousse basically I would use to kind of hold this down a little bit but I don't think I'm going to need it maybe I'll need it for that but I think I can do everything I need with the got to be hairspray or the got to be gel. And y'all, I'm doing this over my glasses because if I take my glasses off, I am not gonna be able to see a darn thing. I think I want a little more of this cover your gray in there. Uh -oh. And it does start to get messy, so just know you might be using one per wig install because it gets a little messy. Yeah, see, I made that a little more darker so it looks a little more realistic. See how long the edge is? It looks a little more realistic. So, what I'm going to do is take some of the Got To Be spray. Actually, I should have did the gel. Let me just do the gel. A little bit of the gel. I'm going to put a little bit on my finger, like that. And I'm going to just come along here and kind of go like this. Now, like I said before, I'm not good at, you know, the doing the baby hairs and the roundness. I'm not good with that. But then again, I don't like that anyway. I just kind of like to blend it. So, and then I might pull some of my regular hair out. Yeah, I don't know at what point my, my, uh, my, um, my, uh, camera turned off. But, um, I'm just going to keep on going. So I put some got to be glue gel over here. So this can go down so it can look a little bit more natural. And as I said before, I'm not good with doing the baby hairs, how they do the roundness and the circles. I just, I just am not that person. 
I'm, I'm 50 something years old. I don't think that looks good on a 50 something year old person. Anyway, a young person, yeah. And then you just kind of use a paper towel to get that, uh, um, cover your gray off. Should probably put some more in there. I'll put some more got to be so that can, that can lay down flat. And then a lot of people will get a hair scarf and just put over the edges once they put the got to be in. I'm not doing all that today because I'm not sure I'm even leaving this on. So I'm not doing all that. I'm just going to show you guys, basically. So going back to reviewing the wig. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I actually kind of like the color. Um, now that I'm using the uh, Cover Your Gray to, um, to um, you know, darken up some of the, the red. I just kind of want to brush that so you can, yeah, you might want to get some of that in there just so it just looks a little bit natural off in the scalp part kind of yeah okay so put that back there I'm gonna probably do some more work with that later but let me do some work up front with the spray, I'm going to use the um, brush to bring some down a little bit just to make it look natural here. And I'm not going to go all the way over here just yet. I'll do that off camera. But um, make some of that look so it can look natural. And then a little bit at the... Um... Now I probably will pluck some at the scalp because the scalp looks red. And that's not how you want it to look. Um, I think I'm going to try some makeup. Okay, so I'm going to take my um, foundation stick and a brush and just put some foundation on it. But again, like I said, I am going to pluck it later on to it look nat more natural. There's enough parting space that you can um, pluck it. And I don't like my, my parts that close together anyway. But what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to, as you guys can see there, I'm going to put some foundation in the middle there kind of blend that in a little bit try not to get it on the hair just get it on the um, the lace so so it looks like your scalp to get a little bit too much foundation right here you just wipe it you know so what I would normally do is go back up here with my foundation and cover it. But this is a lighter foundation stick than what I normally use. Let me see if I can get away with that. Yeah, no, I'm going to need my, and it's a little grayish. Okay. So I'm going to put, a, I'm going to try to do, refine that line a little bit more. And then I'm gonna get one of my uh, foundation brushes that has my normal foundation on it and um, clean up that area by my. You, know, you gotta be careful not to get it on the hair, which I just did. But you can go back with the um, cover your gray and get it. Okay, so I'm going to just put some of my foundation up here just so it looks a little more natural. That you don't see all that darkness. And then I'm going to come back with the brush. And just kind of do that. Okay, so in the meantime, I think I might use some of the, the, the uh, mousse to kind of smooth it down a little bit. 
Why is that mousse never hardly ever works, guys? going to just pull some in the hair and just kind of rub it in. It's just going to kind of lock in those curls. It's already starting to look better, isn't it? And I think I am going to put some mousse at the top here. Just to kind of and then I'm going to put some on the other side. And normally, like I said, this part would be uh, glued down or, you know, hairsprayed down. But like I said, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that because you're not going to really see it right now. I'll have some other work to do with it. But So, I'm liking this hair. Again, it does shed. You're going to have some shedding. Um, but I, like I said, I've seen worse. The lace on it, which is Swiss lace, it feels good on my scalp. There are some wigs that have the hard lace and it just makes my skin itch. It just, Swiss lace is softer. It's not the softest lace, but um, it'll do for the price. Uh, this wig, I believe, was 30 something bucks. I'll double check that on Amazon and Sam's Beauty and put the link in the description box below. But on a scale of one to five, now I like the other one, which is the same wig, it's a different color. I gave that one a five. I'm going to give this one a four only because, y'all know, I'm still trying to get with this color. I was just in the hallway. My husband was like, oh, I like that. So, um, you know, got to keep him happy too. I mean, I think I could get away with it. Um... Maybe if I wear it longer, okay, look, it matches what I have on. I need some work, but, you know, I got to work with the scalp, work with the edges, do the, you know, trim the baby hairs and so on. But what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Comment in the description box below. Do the back. I like the length. I don't like wigs that are too long and I don't like wigs that are too short. So I like the length on this wig. I like the manageability. I like the curls. Uh, many wigs I've gotten, the curls have fallen flat as soon as you try to finagle them or the hair just gets all matted or uh, the curls just come out and the hair is just a jumbled mess like that last one I told you about. Um, but um, I think I'm okay with it. I have some work to do again with this. I didn't do much work with the other one only because I think of the color, but I think I like this. So I'm going to give this one a four. Uh, I'm going to give it four overall because it, it's cute. It's a different look for me. It, it, it's taking me out of my box. Um, it's a good look for the spring, summer. The price. Um, and the feel. So uh, overall, I'm going to give it a four. Now, it looks right with my outfit. I don't know if it'll look right with every outfit, but it looks cute. So, I, I like it. So, that's pretty much it for this particular one. Um, like I said, I'll get better with the reviews uh, for the wig and the, instru the instructions on how to do them. But like I said, this is my second one in all my years of wearing a wig. And I thought to myself, all these other people are, and young girls are, are, you know, flying past me. And I, you know was the leader back then in wearing a wig so so let me go ahead and try it you know of course I'm vain which is another reason why I hadn't done any but I'm like you know what 
what the heck? I'm 50 something years old. I don't care. You know, <laughs> so um, I, uh, again, this is the Bobby Boss, and I'll have the card here below. I'm sorry. Usually what happens is when paper comes in my house, I scan it and it goes right back out because I don't like papers uh, all over the place. But this is Bobby Boss. It does come in this plastic thing here and this is the MLF 408 Angie in the color Bug and it does come wrapped in a hairnet with the paper and instructions and I think this one is good for heat up to 350 degrees so if you wanted to redo your curls you can either use a a, a cool curling iron or you can um, roll them in hot rods and put them in hot water so there so i think that's all i have to say about this particular wig you can get it at amazon you can get it at sam's beauty supply i'll have the link to both um but again i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share this video to someone that you might think might find it helpful and i appreciate you and until next time Talk to you guys later.